Before we proceed to the granting of degrees, we have to attend to another very important and very exciting part of today's convocation, the awarding of the honorary degree and the delivery of the convocation address. It's my pleasure to introduce today's honorary graduate, the Right Honorable Jean Chrétien. Uh, due to scheduling conflicts, Mr. Chrétien, unfortunately, is not able to be with us in person today, but we have arranged for the degree to be awarded and for Mr. Chrétien to provide the convocation address via video. Madam Chancellor, it's my pleasure and privilege to introduce our honorary doctoral recipient, the Right Honorable Jean Chrétien. Mr. Chrétien began his career in federal politics when he was elected as a member of the House of Commons in 1963. He served in many ministerial roles, including Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Finance, and Minister of Industry, Trade, and Commerce, among other positions. As leader of the Liberal Party, he won the October 1993 federal election and became Canada's 20th Prime Minister until December 2003. Mr. Chrétien's work and public service has been recognized with many awards and honors, including the appointment of the Companion of the Order of Canada, the Order of Merit, and honorary doctorates from numerous universities in Canada and throughout the world. Madam Chancellor, in recognition of his distinguished leadership in Canadian government, I request that you confer the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa, upon the Right Honorable Jean Chrétien. Pleasure. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the University Senate, I confer upon you the Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. It is a particular honor for me, for someone who worked for Mr. Prechen, to actually get to do this. So now we will hear from Prime Minister Kretchen. Bonjour tout le monde. Thank you for that introduction. Dear graduates, it is an honor to be with you on this most special day of your lives. The theme of today's graduation is leadership and public life. I could not feel more comfortable with any other topic. This past weekend, we witnessed the grand celebration of Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee. That is an incredible 70 years of public life. The Queen has remained steadfast and true to her promise to serve. I salute Her Majesty for her dedication to Canada over that period of time. Let's be honest. Public life these days is getting a very bad rap. But don't believe everything you read on social media. Yes, the world can be a tough place. But all my career in politics and public life, I have clung to the hope and the belief that working for others in our society is a very honorable profession. Although I wanted to be an architect, but my father had other ideas. He said, you will never be elected as an architect, so you go to the law school. And in those days, when father said something, you listen. Remember that. So I became a lawyer and a politician. Let me start by saying, I never picked up a newspaper or opened my iPad to review the day's media and found the headline, yesterday it was a great day in Canada. Why not? Your journalist graduate knows why. Good news does not sell ads. But let me tell you, governing and public life, if not about the next day's headline, it is about making our society a better place than we found it. When I first entered politics, Canada did not have its own flag. Canada did not have social programs. 
Canada did not have its own constitution. Canada did not have a charter of rights. Canada did not have our own independence in the world. Today, we have all these things. And I would like to think that I left my country in a much better place than I found it. That is the challenge I issued today to you graduates. Get involved, either in public life or volunteer. Contribute to your community, to your city, to your province or your country. Canada is a great experiment that many from around the world will do anything to be part of. It is the people that make Canada what it is today. A great social mosaic representing all the corners of the world. That is why I challenge you. Make your country better than you find it today. Give back to your country at some point in your careers. Give back to the country that make days like today possible. You can make a difference. Don't let anyone tell you different. The future is yours. Take it. Take for yourself and take it for your fellow Canadians. We live in what I have always said is the best country in the world. Thank you, Carleton, for this honor. I will cherish it. Vive le Canada. Et vive les Ravens. Merci beaucoup.